37-year-old Nicole Lorraine Linton is facing vehicular manslaughter charges in connection with the fiery wreck in Windsor Hills, Thursday afternoon that killed six people. She reportedly had an argument with her boyfriend and had been drinking before she sped through the intersection. Linton, the driver of the gray Mercedes-Benz that careened through the intersection of Slauson and La Brea Avenue, was arrested Friday morning as she remained hospitalized. Six people, including an infant and a pregnant woman, were killed, and eight others were injured. Thursday afternoon, after Linton sped through a red light, causing a fiery multi-vehicle crash, among the injured were six kids and two adults who suffered minor injuries and were transported to the hospital. Another person was treated at the scene. unfolded early this morning as Emily Turner, the driver of a sedan, collided head-on with a tanker truck due to an ill-fated overtaking attempt. Tragically, Emily lost her life at the scene, while the truck driver sustained minor injuries. Eyewitness accounts suggest that as the sedan attempted to overtake, it initially collided with a vehicle in its own lane, causing it to lose a balance and subsequently collide with the tanker. Emily Turner, who was 25 years old, resided in Austin. Her family and close circle are now grappling with the sudden loss of a vibrant, life-loving young woman. To prevent such tragic incidents, it is crucial for drivers to exercise caution and adhere to traffic regulations. Let us remember that traffic safety is a shared responsibility.
Yesterday afternoon, a horrifying accident occurred in the involving three vehicles. The excessive speed of the coupe-type car resulted in the loss of three lives. Additionally, four individuals sustained severe injuries. The accident took place at the River Highway. According to initial reports, the coupe-type vehicle lost control, exceeding the speed limit, and collided with the other two cars. All three vehicles suffered significant damage in the collision. Medical teams rushed to the scene and provided initial aid to the injured before transporting them to the hospital. Unfortunately, three individuals could not be saved and lost their lives. The injured individuals are being evaluated as in critical condition, despite the immediate medical attention. Traffic flow in the area of the accident was temporarily halted. Towing teams were called in to remove the vehicles from the scene. Five young men, including a 12-year-old, are facing numerous charges in connection with Wednesday's high-speed chase on Interstate 95 in Broward County that ended in a violent rollover crash. The juveniles, who range in age from 12 to 16, are facing charges including grand theft auto, burglary, fleeing and eluding and leaving the scene of a crash causing injuries, Fort Lauderdale police officials said Thursday. A short time later, officers spotted the SUV involved in the burglary call, which had been reported stolen out of Miami-Dade County, officials said. The SUV got onto I-95 southbound, where the Florida Highway Patrol and a Broward Sheriff's Office helicopter joined in the pursuit. The SUV eventually lost control and hit another car, then flipped over near the exit to Pembroke Road. Multiple other cars were also involved in the crash. Authorities quickly moved in and took all of the juveniles into custody. Yesterday around 2 color p.m., a tragic incident occurred as a result of a road rage incident between a white car and a black car. The altercation led the white car to push the black car onto the opposite lane, resulting in a horrific collision with an oncoming truck. The 72-year-old driver of the black car lost his life in the accident. Upon arrival at the scene, authorities initiated an investigation. The truck driver's health condition remains critical. The owner of the white car was arrested and sent to prison following the accident. While traffic flow was briefly disrupted after the incident, it is expected to return to normalcy after the completion of on-site procedures. 
This harrowing accident serves as a stark reminder of the potentially deadly consequences of road rage. 